You really can't tell it by the weather right now, but summer is on its way. And for fans of bargains, that means yard sales. But how do you know you're getting a good deal along the way? Sherry Lowe is the queen of free, and who better to make sure that uh, we get the uh, best deals during uh, garage sale season. Sherry, good to have you with us again this morning. Good to be here. What's the first thing you should think of before heading out into the field looking for the uh, garage and yard sales? Well, I think most of us pay attention to those big yard card signs that we see out and about when there is a neighborhood sale. But in general, you want to be sure that you're planning your attack. So you're looking in the newspaper, seeing where people are selling what items. There are also some great yard sale apps out there. A lot of people don't know that you can get on, and I have a couple listed on Queen of Free today. You can check those out. But a lot of people will list not only where they're having sales, but some of those big ticket items that they're offering. So if you're looking for something specific. And you can also, you know, head to the paper or hit Craigslist to look for where you should be shopping. Okay, so many homeowners, or those behind those garage or yard sales, put out the clothing that their children yes. have outgrown, right? So what's the key there? Well, you want to be sure that you remember what size your kids are in. And this is very easy to do. I have two daughters, and I'm always constantly trying to remember what size of shoes they're wearing, what size of clothes they're wearing. So if you're shopping for your kids or grandkids in particular, it's a great idea to write down a cheat sheet. Write down everybody's sizes just so before you head out, you have a good idea of what you're looking for. Okay. Now, I know you really have to be sophisticated if someone with a garage sale is taking credit cards, but your, your advice is to make sure to bring cash. Yeah, right? cash, of course, because the majority of people only take cash. They're not going to want your check, yeah. and they certainly won't be able to take your credit yeah. card but also because it keeps you on budget. So if you only bring a set amount, you can only spend a set amount, and that will help hold you to that level of spending. Um, what about haggling? What, what's the course you should take there? I know this doesn't make everybody comfortable. Yeah. A lot of people are a little bit, um, you know, uncomfortable with asking for a lower price, but the majority of sellers really just want to get rid of their mm -hmm. stuff. And so if you really would like to offer a little bit less, don't be afraid to you know come in with a bargain deal for yourself the worst they can say to you is no and you can move right along and one last item you suggest circling back at the end of the day definitely so especially for big ticket items and they're not budging on those prices mm -hmm. come back or ask them what time they'll be closing shop for the day come back at that time and see if they would be willing to sell it to you for a lesser rate. All right, good luck. And as it warms up, there should be more of those Definitely. garage sales out there. Yes. Sherry, thanks very much. Thanks. And uh, as always, Sherry's money saving tips can be found in her online blog. Look for a link on the Hot Topics page on our website at WTHR.com.